in Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11, we read about Jesus' temptation in the wilderness. Today, let's focus on the first temptation devil presented to Jesus, which was to turn stones into bread. At first glance, this temptation seems relatively harmless. After all, Jesus has been fasting for 40 days and was undoubtedly hungry. Turning stones into bread would have satisfied his physical hunger and elevated his suffering. However, the devil's temptation goes deeper than the physical need for food. Devil is trying to get Jesus to use his divine power for selfish gain to satisfy his own desires rather than trusting in God's plan for him. But Jesus doesn't give in to the temptation. He recognizes that physical bread is not the only thing that sustains him. Instead, he quotes from Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 saying, Men shall not live on bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. This response shows that Jesus is focused not only on his physical need, but on his spiritual needs as well. He understands that true nourishment comes from God's word, and he trusts in God's provision for his life. The first temptation of Jesus in the wilderness teaches us several important lessons that we can apply to our own lives. Jesus' response to the devil's temptation teaches us the importance of resisting temptation in our lives. We are often faced with temptation to satisfy our desires, to seek comfort and security in things that are temporary and fleeting. We are tempted to put our trust in money, possession, power or other worldly things rather than God's plan in our lives. But like Jesus, we can resist these temptations by staying focused on God's will and relying on God's word. Jesus' response to devil temptation also shows us the importance of trusting in God's provision for our lives. Instead of giving in to his own desires for physical sustenance, Jesus recognized that true fulfillment comes from relying on God's word and trusting in his provision. Jesus' response to the devil's temptation also emphasizes the importance of prioritizing our spiritual needs above our physical needs. We are not just physical being, but spiritual being as well. And we need to be nourished by God's word to live a truly fulfilling life. True life comes from our relationship with God and living according to his will. We recognize that our relationship with God is the foundation of our lives. And we seek to deepen that relationship through prayer, worship and reading the Bible. It means that we put our trust in God's provision and guidance for our lives rather than relying on material possession or worldly success. Jesus' response to the devil temptation also shows us the power of God's word to resist temptation and overcome the challenges of life. The word of God provides us with guidance, wisdom and insight into the nature of our existence and our relationship with him. It is a source of comfort, hope and strength in times of difficulty and temptation. So let us take heart from Jesus' example and when we are faced with temptation, especially during Lent season, let us turn to God's word and seek his will for our life. May we find a true nourishment in him and may he give us the strength to resist the temptation and live a life that is pleasing to him. For the scripture reading, read from the letter of James chapter 1 verses 12 to 15. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for the example of Jesus in the wilderness and his response to the devil's temptation. Help us to resist temptation in our lives and to stay focused on your will and your word. Teach us to trust in your provision for our lives and to prioritize our spiritual needs above our physical needs. We pray that your word would be a source of strength and guidance for us in every situation and that we would rely on its power to overcome the challenges of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.